Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. We're just going to do a little quickie with some leftovers. This is a 17, uh, sorry, a 7 by 14 canvas taped and push pinned on the back. And we're going to go through the colors real quick. We have Folk Art Treasure Gold in Fire Opal. Deco Art Metallics in 24 Karat Gold. Liquitech Basics in Burnt Sienna. Amsterdam Acrylics in Naples Yellow Deep. Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. And this final color, which was my main color in my last pour, is a mixture of three things. It was my base coat before. It's also got some table drippings mixed into it. But it's mainly Master's Touch Cashew with a little bit of Amsterdam Titanium White to lighten it up and a tiny bit of the Satin Enamels in Pure White. And that was my base coat in my last pour, but we're just going to throw it in the pour cup for this one. I think what we're going to do is a batch of little flip cups on this. Uh, I think we'll do two little flip cups because it's a long canvas. So we're just going to fill two little flip cups and see what happens, just for fun. So we're going to start both with just a tiny touch of gold. We want to make our layers small. These are nice earthy tones. I like them together. So we're going to see what happens when I throw them in a flip cup just as a regular flip cup instead of the way I had them before. Let's see what happens. I should have sure I should have put that opal next to the Naples novel. Oh, not sure how those two are gonna play, but it's okay. We're having fun. Definitely gonna have too much paint, but that's okay. Let me switch up the border this time. bit of cashew to top it off. Okay, that's more than enough paint because this only needs about three and a half ounces and these are two three ounce cups. This one has about two and a half in it, that one has about two in it, so that should be plenty. And I got plenty of leftover paint over here if I need a flow extender. We're gonna let those sit a second, get all fun. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak with flip and lip. Not fit. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Let that sit there for a Play with it without any flow. Well, maybe I'll put a little bit of this cashew mix around as a flow extender in some places that really don't have anything. 
just a quickie. Well extended. And I plan on pouring off. Right. Just get a little something wet next to our pour. Oh, there are so many cells coming up. This is going to be gorgeous. I have to torch it before we get tilted. Just trying to do something quick here. All right, that should be plenty. All right, let me just torch that real quick. Oh, the cells, the beautiful colors. All right, I think we're going to start down here where we've got more of the paint and then we'll work our way back to this side. First, I think I'll go side to side a little bit, stretch this. Let's get it moving a little. Now let's go down that way. Let's get this corner over here. Oh, oh, some pretty is going on here. Now, all the way to the paint's down there, we're going to pull it back a second towards me, and then we're going to dump it towards that other corner. Let's bring it down this way. There we go. Oh, look at the cells. Oh, I knew these colors were going to play nice. Very, very happy here. All right, let's get some of this paint down this way now. Walk it a little bit so it doesn't all go one way. All right, let's get this cool. Just a little bit. Okay. Pull it back a second. So I'll pull it back a little bit before I go for the other corner. All right, then we want it to go this way. We're going for that corner over there. Scoot that way. Last corner. All right. Wow. All right. Now I want to bring everybody back down that way a bit. Then I want to bring it down that way. Wow. Oh, these cells are so amazing. Just want to stretch it this way just a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a pretty one, that is a really, really pretty one, I'm a happy person, oh, I knew those guys were going to play together, some days you just get a color combo that just works. much more subtle in the first painting. Very loud in this one. Whew. All right, let me clean up my corners and sides a bit and I will bring you down for the close-up. Hold on. Okay, we are ready for the wet results and this guy is so awesome. Look at those cells. I mean, really look. Oh, color in a color all the way up the length. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look at those. Those are some of my favorites. So pretty. 
and much more subtle up at this end, but still, even up here, look at the cells. Okay, we have the dried results, and oh, am I so happy with this guy. Look at this down here. Wow, look at some of those cells. Look at the insides of those cells. Work our way up, and some more super fantastic folder cells. Just gorgeous multicolored cells. And then the more plain area, and even up here, We've got sort of those little bubbles showing the color beneath and some little cells. Just fabulous the way these colors played with each other. Just love it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for some more videos. Thank you for supporting my art. Have a wonderful day.